Hi everyone, welcome back to Class Notes. Today we're going to be using Google Keep to organize our notes effectively and create custom headers to personalize our experience of the app. Here we've got two notes that have already been created. The first is a books to read list and the second is a to-do list. They're both interactive checklists that we're able to use by just hitting the um, checkbox over here, which creates a strike through, and that allows us to have an item that's completed. If we want to delete the item, we can just manually do it by hitting the icon over here. We can create notifications for ourselves. We can add collaborators, change the color of our note itself, add images to the note, and archive the note. So I've got a couple of notes over here that I want to archive. So I can do that one by one. So I can just hit archive over here, or you can select a couple at the same time and press archive to collectively archive them. The keyboard shortcut is the letter E. So we can press the letter E to move that into our archive tab over here. If we want to unarchive un them, just press the unarchive icon over here and that will bring the note back into notes. So what I like about Google Keep is that it integrates really well with the other Google applications. So for example, here I've got a Google Sheets that we made in our last video. This was a weekly to-do list tutorial. So if you do want to go ahead and check out that video, I'll have a link to that video in the description box below. And over here on the side panel, we can see the Keep icon here. And that allows us to open up our notes and actually edit the notes whilst we're still using Sheets. So that's a very useful tool to have, especially if you're a student and you just want to remind yourself of things to do. Okay. So what we're going to be doing today is creating a shopping list. So we're going to create a title, so a shopping list, and we can start to type. So you just taking a note, you can actually do some keyboard shortcuts here. So press C on the, um, keyboard to compose a new note, press escape to get rid of that, that um, note. So here I've got the shopping list, so I'm just going to press that back up and continue working on the list. So we want to have some checklists in here. So press more, and then we want to show the checkboxes. Okay, so the first thing I want to have is potentially some dishwashing or dishwasher detergent, okay. So I like how some options come up as well, just to help you when you're thinking about what you want to buy. So then let's like some pasta and pasta and pasta and sauce. Okay. And we can also create a nested list. So how to create a nested list is press control and then the right hand bracket and it's the square bracket. Okay. So the right square bracket. If we want to bring that back, we can press control and the left square brackets. Okay. So that's super useful as well. We can then go ahead and change the color and we can just do a purple color. That's fine. Okay. Close that up and you can see that it's in the others um, part of the notes. Okay. So if you do want to pin it up so that we can see it um, more clearly, you can do that as well. And it's very easy to unpin the note as well. So now what we want to do is create a header. Okay. And it's one of these images that is just really bold and allows us to kind of personalize the note itself. So how we're going to be creating the headers is using an app called Canva. So Canva is amazing for creating graphics and I highly recommend it if you're creating um, simple graphics like the one that we're doing. And the dimensions that I use are just a simple YouTube thumbnail and uh, dimensions. So that's 1280 by 720 pixels. Okay, so I'm just going to press on that one. And that's the same as the ones that I've created for the books to read list and the to do list. I'm just going to show you some other ones that I've archived. And it's completely up to you, you might want to have um, something that looks a little bit more narrow like this one. And I think that one was the same as this one, yeah, 1280 by 450 pixels. You can even go even narrower. So this one is 1280 by 350 pixels, completely up to you. And Canva allows you to do custom dimensions as well. So that is in the create a design and then you can do custom dimensions. So that's completely up to you. So, but we're going to be using just the YouTube thumbnail one, which was 1280 by 720. The first thing that I do is just do a background and you've seen, I've just have a marble background. It's, it's up to you. I will just do the same just to keep it consistent for my own notes. And then I would add some text. 
and I'll do shopping list and then select all the um, text and highlight that. So this is just um, uppercase. So I do uppercase and I want to make it large. I also change the font to Glacial Indifference. I quite like that one. And I want to, generally speaking, I'd like to center align it. There is, yeah, two lines that allows you to do that. So a horizontal and a vertical, just to keep it in the middle. Sometimes I like to add the Bitmoji as well. So if you want to add your Bitmoji, you have the Google Chrome extension for that, and you can just copy and paste it how you normally would. And I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller, maybe put it up on the top here. Perfect. So what we're going to be doing now is just downloading it and we're going to stick it straight into our notes. So here I am back at notes and I just want to add an image. Okay, and here's my shopping list one. Okay, so perfect. What I would like to do is um, might just want to add a label as the final thing for my note. It's really nice to just label your notes because if you just want to see a particular category, you can just go ahead and press the tabs over here for your categories. So I've got a category for hobbies as well as a category for to-do list. Okay, so this I would consider as part of my to-do list. A shortcut for doing um, labels um, other than it's quite simple to create a label already, just press add label and type it. But there is a shortcut, you can do hashtag and then press the one that you like. And I want to add this into to do list so then the label actually pops up there. Okay, so then we press close and then we'll have that as part of our to do list. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some ideas on how to customize Google Keep for yourself. And if you like this video, give the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. Until next time, see you later and have a good day. Bye. tomorrow at 3pm.